Hey and welcome back to Platform. It is the start of a new month, which means I have another five fantastic new books to share with you. And of course, you'll have the chance to win all of them at the end of the video, so stay tuned for details. All right, so let's get straight into the books. The first one I have here is Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Niven. Now you might recognize this name because she's actually also the author of All the Bright Places, which you might have seen around a couple of times. But the story of Holding Up the Universe is about two characters. The first one is Libby Strout, and she's really been struggling with her mom passing away and the fact that no one can sort of seem to look beyond her weight. She's been out of school for a while, now going back, and she's just so determined to do everything that she sets her mind to. Then the other character is Jack Maslin. He seems like a guy who's kind of has it all together, but what his friends don't know is that he has prosopagnosia, which is face blindness, which as you can imagine makes social interaction quite difficult. These two characters, Libby and Jack, meet each other in a way that you probably wouldn't predict, and the story revolves around them getting to know each other, learning from each other, and the way that that changes them. Book number two is Little Mix, Our World. If you've ever wanted to know more about the UK's most popular girl band, then this is the one to read. This book is filled with lots of gorgeous pictures. I especially enjoyed seeing all of their adorable school pictures. It also has a lot of advice in it and behind the scenes information. And also talks about their friendship of how they met and how their friendship developed over the years. Next up there is You Will Not Have My Hate by Antoine Lerie. The back of this book actually has a gorgeous quote on it, which I think will really help explain what the book is about. And it says, there are only two of us, my son and myself, but we are stronger than all the armies of the world. Last year during the Paris attacks, Antoine's wife was killed, and three days later he wrote an open letter to his wife's killer on Facebook, and that is where this book started. In this book, Antoine describes everything from that horrible day to the year that followed and how he and his son dealt with the loss. It's really honest, it's really heartbreaking, but it's also filled with hope. Then next up, there's a bit of a hefty one, and it is Bit Fraught by Douglas Coupland. It is a collection of stories and essays, and they're all to do with the internet and society and the way that we sort of behave in the digital space and everything around it. Now, Bit Rot is actually a term that describes the way in which digital files can sometimes just like spontaneously decompose. So examples of titles of the stories and essays that are in here are Notes on Relationships in the 21st Century and maybe my favorite, George Washington's Extreme Makeover. That one actually comes in the shape of a script. I feel like there's something for everyone in here, but especially if you really like the TV show Black Mirror, then this would be something to check out. And then finally, I have At the Edge by Danny McGaskill. Now, when a book comes with a do not try this at home warning at the front, you know it's gonna be exciting. You've probably seen one of Danny McGaskill's amazing videos on YouTube where he does stunts on like mountain tops with his bicycle and through all these amazing environments. This book has stories from his childhood growing up on the Isle of Skye, but it also has a lot of like behind the scenes information for stunts. And it also starts off with a list of writers speak and different terms, just in case you're not entirely up to date. So if you're a bit of a daredevil or you just like to read about adventurous things from the comfort of your own bedroom, check out At The Edge. All right, so those were the five October books I wanted to show you. If you'd actually like to win a package with all five of these amazing books, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, then head over to our Twitter, Penguin Platform, and follow us and retweet the pinned tweet, which will be about this video. And finally, I don't know if you've spotted it yet, but we're actually on Snapchat now. Username is Penguin Platform, as you might expect, pretty easy. We'll be snapping about authors coming into the office, brand new books, and we're also doing some speed 10 second book reviews. All right, I'd love to hear which out of these books you're most excited about reading, so don't forget to leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye! Um.